Hi guys, Brendan Lay here again from Naked Edge Real Estate. Guys, just giving you a market update about where the Perth market is at the moment, and it is still smoking hot. And when I say smoking hot, right here, and you're gonna see a graph pop up shortly about it, we have only got, as of last Thursday, 3,259 actual houses, excluding land or units, on the market in Perth. Big deal, you say? Well, let me put it in perspective. We normally have somewhere between eight and 9,000 houses on the market in Perth. And the total number has dropped from a year ago, including land and units, from 7,881. We've dropped below 1,000 from there to 6,814 in total. Guys, I have people coming to me going, the market's slowing down, interest rates are going up. It has not made a dent at all in the real estate market here in Perth. If you're serious about buying a home, you need to be prepared and you need to be putting in good offers. I had somebody yesterday try and offer about probably 8% below where the market value is on the home and they're wondering why they missed out on the property. We had five offers on it and they missed out by a long shot and now they're cranky and going, oh, we didn't know the market was like this. Guys, I've been saying it for a year. We said at the beginning of the year that we would see maybe one to 5% increase this year. I'd like to say, I think I've been wrong on that one, which doesn't happen often, but we're probably going to see closer to seven to 10% growth again this year. So be prepared to put your best foot forward out there at the moment. Every single property is still getting multiple offers. Welcome to the market update for Bedford Dale for April. In the past six months, there's been 13 sales. Currently sitting on the market today, there's eight properties. Average days on market is sitting at around 39. Highest price paid has been $1,960,000. The lowest price paid has been 725. That's giving us a medium price of around $930,000. Guys, as I've been saying, the real estate market in Perth is booming along and is showing absolutely no signs of slowing down just simply because of the amount of homes that are on the market at the moment. Don't forget, we have also, according to Rio last week, released numbers. We have a shortage at the moment right now of 25,000 homes in WA. On top of that, a lot of investment properties have been sold. So renters are finding it very tough. So if you're an investor, my advice is hang on to your rental properties because rents are going to continue to climb at a fairly steep rate going forward over the next couple of years. As always, guys, if there's anything we can do for you, your family or friends, drop us an email, give us a call. We're only too happy to help and just answer any questions. And don't think you're annoying us by asking us things. That's what we're here for and we don't mind doing it, no matter how small an issue it is. All the best and bye for now.